Hey all my adventurers, welcome back. Now this is part 2 of things to do in Ocho Rios, Jamaica, or better yet, I should say things to do in St. and Jamaica, right? As I mentioned before, there's a part 1, so you guys have to go and check out part 1 before you even start to watch part 2. Alright, as always, thank you guys for the support, and if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscription button. Turn on post notification, because you know your girl has a lot of content, and I'm going to be giving them to you week after week well hopefully i can be consistent with that <laughs> now first on the list is we're heading to the bob marley museum and on your way to the museum you're going to see these different um artwork like right here and then once you get here you see it so we're at the nine mile bob marley tour and the reason why i'm specifying nine miles is because there are three different bob marley tours in jamaica this one right here the nine mile tour uh, basically covers him from birth to his childhood and then there's one in trench town which is where he actually developed his love for music and then there's another one in Kingston, which was when he was more famous, right? Now, at the Nine Mile Tour, once you've entered, you're going to see this beautiful mural right here on the wall of Bob Marley. Actually, as we go throughout this particular tour, you're going to see numerous artwork along the way. And I really appreciate that. Also, oh, this is another one right here. Well done. Like, whosoever did all of these different artwork, 10 out of 10. Also, guys, as you can see, it's a lot of stairs, right? So, unfortunately, this particular tour is not wheelchair accessible. I believe the one in Kingston is. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. So, when you guys go up the first flight of stairs, we're going to see this right here, which says Nine Man. And this is a shop where you can, you know, buy all your little souvenirs. Most of the stuff in here are Bob Marley based. You know, so we have the Bob Marley t-shirts, there's also swimsuits, there are bags. So anything that you want, you know, you can find it in this particular store. There's also another store here on the property as well. And as always, guys, I always, I will not stop saying it, support the locals when you come to Jamaica. Alright? Anywho, I know this will be the first thing that you see, but actually where you pay for the ticket is out. Is close by as well and this is it right here um, currently this states that for adults is $30 30 USD for children it's 15 USD of note the prices can change but as of now I believe that's what it is and as a local you pay 15 US dollars right again you can see the different artwork which is on the walls and yes, there's another flight of stairs that we go have to go up before we even begin the tour. So to begin the tour, the first place that you actually go is this bar right here. And you get to do a Bob Marley shot, right? Um, I believe it's included in the cost. And you actually get to keep the, um, the shot glass as a souvenir as well. So let me tell you something. You see this Bob Marley shot? And I've done it before, right? so they light it um sometimes because of the lighting around the place you might not necessarily see the fire but it's actually there and they're gonna make sure you can see that it's there hence we're burning the straw paper right there, so you know that it's actually on fire and let me tell you man it's not for the weak of heart you know to take it in one go this is my client right she's actually a solo traveler she had no problem with being in the video um she actually met me on youtube as well and she had reached out and this was one of the spots that she definitely wanted to go and um she was a trooper because she did that shot real quick yeah so i give that to her definitely so it's a fun interactive tour i mean you see she's she's pounding on her chest because it, it burns I know it's not burning because they lit it <laughs> on fire. That's not why it's burning. It's that, that white rum. Trust me. That that white rum that we have here in Jamaica, it ain't for the weak. Anywho, when you're there, you're going to see numerous newspaper articles. And it's just like the impact that Bob Marley had on the world was just beyond me. Because all of these articles that are here are actually in a different language. I don't even know what some of the languages are. I believe one was German and so on. He was obviously well known across the entire world. And to have that impact is phenomenal. Like I feel like it doesn't matter where you go in the world. Everybody should know Bob Marley. 
and needless to say he obviously helped to put jamaica on the map right without a doubt anyway this is the view this is a view from the bar area and um as i mentioned before this is the property that bob marley was born on right so this is his birthplace and actually they're gonna bring us down to the room that he and his mother lived in unfortunately no recording is allowed in that room so i do not have a recording and that just simply means you guys have to come here and do the tour for yourself but we were allowed to take some pictures and i'm gonna share two of them with you this is a picture of bob marley's dad right he was a white man he was a white man from liverpool i actually realized that some people didn't know that bob marley's dad was white because i've had clients come and when they saw that his dad was white they were just like wow and this is actually two pictures you think it would be the same person it's actually not so one is bob marley's mom and the other is his wife rita marley and i'm gonna let you guys tell me in the comments who is who so who is the mother sidella marley left or right and who is the wife rita marley left or right let me know in the comments below yes so for the rest of the tour we were able to go into a room where they had some of these plaques with um some of these achievements you know some of the different platinum records um the tour guide told us that one of the highest selling concert that bob marley had was actually in italy and you know i stop and think about it i'm just like i believe bob marley only spoke english maybe i was wrong but um either way he would have performed across the entire world and people would have sung his songs even when they didn't speak english and let me tell you for you to have that impact because you know once you hear the beat you probably would have known the song because maybe in those countries they would have converted the music to the language of the people in that particular country like say italy or germany and so on and so forth but the guy told us that one of the largest selling concerts that bob marley had was actually in italy anywho there's also a restaurant there you guys just saw that beautiful mural as well um this restaurant had a guitar which was framed and some other pictures of him i believe this was one of the guitars that he used during his performance i'm not 100 percent sure um because the tour guide didn't go in this particular restaurant i just went in there um you know because i wandered off and i was looking at the different pictures and so on and so forth but when you guys go you guys could ask to see if that was a guitar that he had used in any of his concerts and while we're there um one of the things that they do here that they don't do at any other, other bob marley museum is that they do a little live performance this is the band right here and i truly appreciate this live performance when we're there you know they sing songs um they also ask if there's any request and i always put in a request because i love i love bob marley music i really do and this was my request <laughs> So just a little a taste, a little preview, and then after this performance, there was an up-and-coming artist right here. Yeah, guys, when you see them perform arts, so you look a basket right there, you give them a little tip and so on and so forth. Now... After this, we go to another section. But before we go there, again, guys, the artwork. Oh, my word. The artwork. Beautiful. Talented. Listen, we have some talented people that live right here in Jamaica. I'm telling you. But beyond this gate right here, right, there's no recording allowed. So, once again, you guys are just going to have to book the tour to see the full thing. However, some other stuff that's up here is this Ethiopian style church, right? 
as and this is the inside of the church and also up here is a museum which is the final resting place for bob marley his mother and as well as his brother um so when you guys come you guys can see it this was supposed to i believe to be the room that he had as well again some other artwork this is bob marley and tupac and a horse and uh, maybe that's how they are in heaven <laughs> again i'm showing you the rest of the artwork and there's way more to this tour i'm not going to give you guys all of it because you guys just have to go there and see it for yourself but yes definitely want to put on the list again this is me and my solo traveler and again guys you just have to book this tour and that's that painting right here is very recent that's his grandson that recently passed unfortunately Anywho, next on the list that I'll be talking about is ATV. I'm showing you guys the journey. You're going to pass this water wheel right here. This is in... The ATV is in Snow Hill, St. Anne, which is a little bit after you pass Ocherias. For my Jamaicans, you would have known or should know Evita's um, Italian restaurant. So, it's on that same road. And as you saw a while ago, I actually stopped while I was driving so that the other vehicle could come down. Um, that's because the road around here isn't the greatest. It gets narrow. And, you know, I'm just preparing you guys. The road to get here isn't the best. Alright? Hopefully with time they fix it. But this is it right here. We are at Radventures. And they do ATV. Now, as I mentioned before, when you're coming up here, you're going to be like, where is this that Amanda is sending me? right like oh my god where are we going but guys just continue along the road and when you reach you're gonna see the open field and you're gonna see the atv is just parked up like this along the road right now first thing first when you get here you're gonna have a waiver that they're gonna ask you to sign right you're gonna sign the waiver once you sign the waiver you get fitted with your helmet and also the goggles don't forget the goggles guys because it gets dusty on this trail also you see i have gloves on my hand those are actually my gym gloves that i brought with me because um i did it before and i realized when i was holding on to the handles like you know it was really hurting man plus but nobody know i'm a girl with no can on them and you know good girl and i'm soft and them something there so yeah i brought my own personal <laughs> gloves um i actually suggested to them that they should get some gloves um i'm not sure if they will you know health reasons maybe people don't want to wear the same gloves all the time but anyway if you want to bring your gloves you can i definitely brought mine and it made the 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 experience better for me personally anywho now this atv trail love i loved it i loved every minute of it now so you, me now i'm an i'm an adrenaline junkie i love all of this type of adventure i love the um off the beaten path stuff i love when it's more rugged you know i really like the line up behind each other and you know you go too slow which is really what chucker does and you know that's safe you know I'm not saying that this isn't safe but for me here you can go really fast like the tour in general i believe was probably an hour but we did it in half an hour because you see all of these clips that i'm showing you right here i did not speed them up this is the speed that we're going right and even though the road right here looks relatively flat it actually is a bit bumpy you know so you know a lot of gravel a lot, a lot of dirt as you can see it's dusty which is why we need the goggles these were actually some kids right here but i believe this family Cause we met them before we went oh i believe this family they do atv so they enjoyed it as well so like if you're somebody that's looking for that rush you know just want to go really fast you can't bother with the lineup behind each other thing you can do it here and even if that's not you you can still come and do it here again you can go at your own pace but like like i said me me love ride fast yeah yeah i love it again guys if you're interested in booking this tour right reach out to me head over to my website right i have a tour company so i offer transportation i do tour guide private tour guides and stuff like that so you can reach out to me whether it's whether you want to do the atv the jet ski whatever it is that you want to do here in jamaica then reach out to me head over to my website you can fill out the job form my email will also be in the description below and we can get it done for um the tourists or foreigners i should say 
it's a hundred USD per person currently that's what it is right now for locals it's eight thousand dollars per person and you can see the trail you know some people will say that this is the jungle this is the Amazon you know so we're riding through the hills we're riding through the hills and I'm telling you listen I enjoyed every second of doing this tour now this is me out here on this tour right now riding this fast it's, i'm with my friends right i'm not with any client at this moment because i wouldn't be going this fast if i was with any client right <laughs> but the fact that it was just me and you know my clean foot friend them and we're alone out here yeah definitely definitely let loose and that's our tour guide in front of us and i was telling him listen I'm no stranger to the ATVs and stuff like that. We're good. We did some donuts. That's me in the green at the front, but we couldn't really catch it. But you yeah, see, the tour guide him. No, him, I do. You know, the thing shot. Anywho, guys, remember to like this video, comment below, subscribe, turn on post notification, follow me over on Instagram, and follow them as well. Right Ventures, right? They're on Instagram as well and this is just a very nice tour the only issue i would say that i have with this particular atv is that there's like a little muffler that's beside your leg so when you're riding it kind of burns you while you're riding so if you can wear like a sleeve on your leg that would that would help or wear pants that would help so when we stop we stop by the river so you want to cool off and anything like that you can this is actually the source to duns river no guys it's not actually duns river it is the source for duns river so you know it's all connected and once we did that we dipped we washed off you know we took some pictures and all of that it was time for us to go and again i'm just there leaving everybody behind i don't know why am i like this and i'm not like this when i was with clients it's just because i know i was with my friends and we were just listen we we're just speeding off like our valiant says speed off yeah right through the hills right through the jungle as some people will say and then we basically came back around to the beginning right here it's a very 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 nice different ATV tour you need the gloves you need the, the goggles and um, wear some pants yeah that's what I would recommend because the, the muffler is on the side and it burns and this is the man that's in charge that's their logo rad ventures follow them over on instagram and if you're interested in booking let me know okay guys so next on the list is mystic mountain now mystic mountain is actually in Rios. probably should have put it in the last one but that doesn't matter now these clips that i'm going to show you are actually old um because i went to mystic mountain in 2020 october which was during the pandemic period um so i went and i got these clips again and i repurposed them now if you've been with me from the beginning and if you've been watching all of my vlogs then you actually should recognize these clips right here now with mystic mountain there are several packages that they have and then each package it tell you what the tour is inclusive of some you will see something says sky explorer that the tour includes sky explorer this is the sky explorer right here and as you can see you know you're going all the way up and i believe i'm not 100 sure but i believe this is the only way for you to get to the actual property so if it is that you have a fear of heights right look down you see that if it is you have a fear of heights maybe this is not for you or maybe you can go and you can overcome that fear of heights that you have all right no the different packages so the different stuff you can choose include the bobsled the ragamuffin and the zip line right if you do just one that's a silver package and that's 99 us dollars um for an adult and 79 us dollars for a child if you do the gold package you can choose two from the bobsled the ragamuffin and the zip line and if you do the platinum you can do all three and all of the tours are inclusive of the sky explorer the regga rock the anansi web infinity pool the hummingbird garden lookout to our museum and i'm going to show you the majority of what was mentioned a while ago now this right here this is the bobsled and as you can see it started off slow but then it definitely sped up um a whole lot of fun i really enjoyed this um probably wondering why it is that we have a blob bobsled um thing like this in jamaica that's because we actually entered the winter olympics <laughs> many many years and we have a jamaica bobsled team um i think the first time we entered was 1988 but our first medal was in 2000 at the world championship 
So yeah, listen, Jamaicans, we're very talented. Anything we put our minds to, we do it and we get it done. Because for us to be an island where there's no snow, there's no ice, there's no nothing like that. And then go on to the Winter Olympics to make a name for ourselves. It's just brilliant if you ask me. But yes, a small bit of history right there. You know, I love me some good history. Alright guys, so that was basically the bobsled. It's an 8.5 out of 10 for me, so you know that's an A, so I definitely recommend it. It's also a nice activity or excursion for kids as well. So if you're planning a trip with the family and you're looking for family activities, this is it. Now this is a slide. Unfortunately, when I was there, it was closed. I never got the chance to go in it, but there is definitely no. If it was open, I would be all in it but it looks like a really nice slide and so on so that's included once you're on the property right now next is the ragamuffin so this contraption right here this is what's called a ragamuffin it's kind of like a roller coaster but it's not really i don't even know what to call it um again when i went this was 2020 i'm not sure if stuff has changed since then um but yeah as you guys can see, you can't have your bags on the ride. I'm the type of person, when I go anywhere, I always have my bag right on me. Um, they do have lockers and so on, but I always prefer to keep my bag close by. But you can't have the bag for this particular ride. Now, when we were strapping us in, a young man that worked there, he, he looked at us and he said, Listen, if it starts going too fast, then you just hold on to the brakes, right? That's exactly what he said and my friend and i you can see we looked around and i was just like so where is the brakes what are you talking about and i was just like you know say imagine yo the man I gina, there's no brakes guys there is there are no brakes so that was just as the thing that they do um right at the beginning so this and it, it sways your left it sways your right it, it go you go up you go down i really like this this was a nine out of ten for me i liked both of them i really loved both of them actually the ragamuffin as well as the bobsled um the only issue i had with both of them was that the you only had one turn so like you know in terms of the track i'm gonna call it a track right you only have one turn around the entire trap but look how it's swinging me listen swing your left swing your right bring your up bring your down and my advice to you is don't eat before you do these excursions you know or if <laughs> to make sure the last time you ate was probably like a good hour or two ago that's that's my advice but definitely recommend 10 out of 10 i want you guys to know that i'm using one hand to hold the camera when i was on this ride you know listen the things that i do to get content oh my god you would even believe but this is the view a nice beautiful view of the entire place and you know that's basically the ragamuffin so definitely one for you guys to do a adrenaline filled very adventurous a lot of fun right and this is katie so obviously with this one you guys can pair up i believe for the bobs that it was a single ride or I'm not sure if you could go two at a time. Uh, maybe you could have. I can't remember. Um, at this point, I was just walking out the property. Looking at the different stuff that they have. They, ha they had these caves. Uh, again, this was 2020, guys. I'm not even sure if it's still there. I think, I think it is. Maybe a bit more developed. Because I remember when I was there, they were actually working on it. And uh, they were actually building a deck. That was kind of on the out front. So, it probably looks better now. But yeah, if there, if there's something that they said there's some caves close by, more than likely, this this is the cave that they're referring to. Also, guys, remember to follow me over on Instagram. You know, follow me on TikTok, like this video, share it, subscribe. You know, all of that good stuff. Now the Anansi Web. This is basically an adult obstacle course. I mean, kids can do it as well, but if you look closely, you see that mostly adults that are on it. And it's a lot of bobbing and weaving and you know, you have to be very tactile and yeah. So when we went here, this was included in the package that we got, but my friends, they weren't feeling it. You see that? You have to drag yourself across and I think like I want a skateboard. I don't even know what it is. There's multiple 
robes you know and it, it, it looks a lot of fun to, like a lot of fun to be very honest i just never went on it because my friends weren't feeling it and i wanted to do the zip line and we were kind of strapped for time so i went and did the zip line now for the zip line instructions my name is jason throughout the tour you get to meet your other guys today we're going to be doing a total of five zip lines a bumpy stairs and also a suspended bridge we the guy we do all your connecting we do all your disconnecting never ever interfere with your gears if you need something to be adjusted on your harnesses, you point it out to either guy to get your stuff adjusted for you. Cool? Yeah. As soon as you get your connected line, that's all it's asked you to do. Just sit in your harness. The harness will support your body weight. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so sit, bend your knees, cross your ankles, lean back, or you can lean your head to the side, preventing your head from bumping in these pulleys while the guy is trying to break you on the other end. Okay. Never ever grab hold of these cables while you're moving or put your fingers in front or behind the moving pulleys. Instead, you hold to your handlebar, which is provided in front of you. The handlebar is serves as a means of steering. Mm. So while you're zipping across, if your body happens to twist to the left, you gently twist your handlebars to the right. But do not twist your handlebars too much on the line as it will cause friction, you'll get stuck. There's a box at each end of the line, so while coming across, you're gonna keep your legs bent, try to land on top of the box. Do not stick your legs out. If you do, you might kick your guide, or you might hit your leg in the box right here. Understood? Understood. Any questions? Okay, so now that we've gotten our instructions, it was go time, right? Now, when I did this zip line back in 2020, um, I had a lot of fun. I'm not sure if you still let you wear the hair net under the under the helmet. Probably do, but you know it was a nice zip line. I think there is roughly seven of them. Yeah, I believe there are seven of them. And at the time, the only issue that I had was that I wish, I wish if, instead of them being seven, it was probably just five because some of them were a little bit short, and I was just like it would have just made sense to combine both of the zip lines and make it into one big one. Um, but i don't know the reasoning why they do what they do so you know maybe from an engineering standpoint it would have been better to have seven instead of five um also this zip line is kid friendly as you can see that little girl listen she was actually the first one that went and she did it very well she went like a trooper and again the instructions that i played it's very important when you guys are there you listen to the instruction for the guides because every time you do zip lining it differs so here they have the handle in front of you you can just steer left or right and when you're gonna slow down it kind of slows down on its own but i remember doing zip line in costa rica again guys you guys can check out my costa rica vlogs i went to costa rica last year for my birthday actually to slow down the zip line in costa rica we had to hold on to the cables with our hands and that was the first time i've ever done that i'm saying all of this just to say listen to your guide and pay attention to what they say because it's for your safety and at the end of the day safety is one of the most important thing right now this particular zip line was the only one that had somewhat of a view you know you can see the sea down there and i really liked this one so this was actually the last one um again guys like share comment subscribe you know I maybe i missed some of the stuff um in the mystic mountain vlog in terms of what they say is included in the tour but again this was 2020 so here what you guys can go and you guys can tell me what it is that i missed in the comments below but for the most part i'm 100 percent sure that i got the majority of it and once you finish the zip line you take the sky explorer back down as again and um because my friends didn't come with me then I was down here, I was admiring different koi fishes and the different in the pond and then they came and you know that was pretty much it. I won't lie, back in 2020 I did a lot of exploring, I did a lot of new stuff. You know it was the pandemic so a lot of stuff were on deals, the prices were good and I definitely took advantage of that. Yes, you know you have to make the most of whatever situation you're given. Um, but yeah, Mystic Mountain, definitely something to check out, something to do, locals as well as foreigners, you know, put it on your list. Again, if you want to book it, you want transportation, you can reach out to me, alright? Now, next on the list is this hidden gem right in Discovery Bay, St. Anne, 
which I call Discovery Cove because it's basically the shape of a cove. Some people call it Teardrop Cove as well because, you know, from the drone shot, it's the shape of a teardrop. Um, this is not a commercialized place. You know, that's me right there with the flag. You know, I'm always repping. Um, but yes, this is not a commercialized place. This is just somewhere that I like to go. You know, it's a beautiful place just to sit out and look at it. Um, hear the waves coming in, you know, clear my head. You know, I'm a big believer in nature therapy. You know, I'll bring some of my clients down there sometimes. If it is I'm trying to kill time between excursions and this is close by, I'll bring some of my clients there. Um, there's a spot where you can jump off. Um, it's not deep guys, so I don't really recommend people jumping like that per se um, Even though you see them jump I actually went down test to ensure that the water was deep enough because depending on the time It can be shallow and then other times it can be a bit deep. So I'm just putting this out there Discover Cove is what I call it um, A lot of locals don't even know where this is, but it's just a nice beautiful spot and guys if you do know where it is and if you do go there please 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 always clean up after yourself don't leave the place in a mess so if you end up going there guys please clean up after yourself okay now the next spot that i'm going to be talking about is touch hill river park this is on the border of saint anne and saint mary i believe this is in i don't want to misquote i think it's exchange it's past blue hole past hidden beauty go all the way around and um guys the road to get here mm, trust me narrow kind of bad it's not the greatest and i'm telling you guys that from now but as you can see it's a big park area um i was here with my friends this was just a nice chill day with some of my friends we haven't seen each other in a very long time a very long time i haven't seen some of my friends in actual person so this was a nice little link up for us when we got there as you can see that it's a big space right a group were there and they had a little race which is this right here and guys i want you guys to pull up this race that they're gonna do and watch each person separately right so me i gonna actually pull up the race phone no? and you guys can watch each person because i watch this race all 10 times you know <laughs> right i'll pull it up again honestly i don't even know who won i really don't know who won but this even goes to show you how big of a property it is because they were all the way on the other side and my friends and i were on the other side because this right here this is actually another family they brought their food they set up their table and as, I, as you can see, it's a perfect spot for a picnic. You know, some guys were playing football. Others were racing. You know, we had a family that set up picnic. And then everything is alongside the river, right? So some parts of the river is shallow, right? And then, of course, there's go always going to be one aspect of the river that's deep. And this part of the river right here, there's no current, which is good. So you can just be in the water and not necessarily worry, right? But this is the deep part, the deeper part of the river where people can run and jump off and, you know, for all who want to do all of the acrobatics and all of the big swim and so on. But that's basically the property. As I mentioned, for me and my friends, it was a chill day. We had um, my friend right here was on the grills making some sausages, some hot dogs, and we also had burgers and other stuff like that. A top chef that, you know, yeah, man, top chef, but... You know, we had we brought our drinks and this and that and we had our books and I mean it was a pretty much chill day, right? We took some pictures, we vibed, we laughed and we had an all around good time. Again guys, like, share, comment, turn on post notification. Um for this particular spot is a thousand dollars for the entry fee. Is it open all the time? I can't even tell you. I don't even know if it's always open. I feel like the owner opens it on some days and it's kind of bulk everybody together because I've been trying to go here for the longest while, trust me, and I've only made it there this year. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. Touch the river. Okay, the last thing I'm going to mention is Green Grotto Caves. I feel like a lot of local people probably have never done this tour and I think it's something you should definitely do. Right, the first time I went here was on a high school trip, a geography high school trip um, ugh, back in 2009, I believe. Was ever, and 
honestly i never went back again until this year february i brought some of my clients there so but all in all it's a very educational trip a very good trip um we have a lot of caves in jamaica so many caves and i've actually explored some of the uncommercialized caves but this one is obviously one where you can go and tour you can see there's some water there you know with all of these caves the rocks are limestone and it's the water that cuts away at the limestone that's a stalagmite right there and um when it's dark you can see it when you look at it it actually looks it wants to look like diamonds like it's glistening is what i should say it looks like crystals in the dark that's a better picture right there but if you touch it the more you touch it is the more you won't it won't have that feature anymore um these caves were actually used in a part of the james bond movie i can't remember which one I don't remember which one of the 007 movie it was used for, but it was used in one of those movies. Um, I believe the tour is $30 per person. And one thing that I remember distinctly from when I did it way back when in high school, and I was looking forward to that, is this right here. Water, acid erosion of the stalagmite, eating away the minerals, giving a rock with a curved edge and hollowness. Give me the opportunity to play Francis one and Princess two, the sisters. Yeah, so that's a natural drum right there and I was actually amazed by it back then and I'm still amazed by it now. Anyway guys, this is the end of the vlog. If you've made it this far, I thank you so very much. Remember like, share, turn on post notification. And as always, if you've made it this far, I thank you so very much.